There is a song called A Broken Heart Knows Better. It is sung by a man you've met many, many times on this ABC television station on uh, the My Three Sons story, the one that features Fred McMurray and several other people along with this young man. Let's greet Don Grady. <laughs> Nice to welcome you to Bandstand. Come sit over here a second. We'll do a little talking a bit about music and television and what have you. How long have you been interested in music? Well, I've been interested in music ever since I was around two and a half, three years old. I started playing the drums. You know, this is an amazing thing. This, this fellow's had more... Uh, there's a long sheet back there. That I guess they call him a biography or something. He has done more things in his short life than most people do in a lifetime of show business. You were on the, on the Mouseketeers thing one time, wasn't it? I was. I was a Mickey Mouser. Do uh, you still have your ears? <laughs> Are you on I any of this? I these, but I lost the, uh, the big ears when I, uh, after about 10 or 11 months. Don, I don't, I don't want to be derogatory in any sense of the word, but for some reason or other, there is one Mouseketeer that stands out in my mind that I can never quite get used to her without the ears, and that's Annette, because she's changed so much since she those days. She stands out in everybody's mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know exactly what you had in mind, but she's, she's a startling gal. She's a beautiful young thing, and, and I always, you know, pictured her with those great big floppy old ears, and it's hard to believe that she's gotten to be such a beautiful young lady, such as life. How long were you with the Mickey Mouse Club? I was with them for 10 months. Was it a good experience? Oh, it was wonderful. It was my first uh, chance at professional acting and tap dancing and singing. You've had a long run with my three sons. Are you not now going into another year of production? Uh -huh. We start our fifth season tomorrow. You may not, by the way, realize this, but Don puts in more time, has uh, more to do than anyone in the show, including Mr. McMurray himself. Uh -huh. uh, how do you feel about carrying a load like that? Is it difficult? It's, it's difficult, but it's fun. You know, it's, it's satisfying. You work every week? Yes. Mm -hmm. How many hours a week do you suppose it takes you to prepare one half-hour show? Well, we... Uh, the way we film, we shoot segments here and segments there. So it takes about anywhere from three to four days to prepare one half hour show. I don't think most people realize this. You wrote some, there was a song, I saw uh, one episode where Mr. McMurray was doing a rock and roll song. Yeah. Did you have a hand in that? That was called Ugga Bugga, and I, I wrote that song. I also wrote Broken Heart Knows Better, along with a friend of mine, Gary Abrams. You, you publish your own songs too? That's right. We have our own publishing company called uh, Amzity Music, which is a combination of the, our both of our last names, the three last letters. You know, I, you probably have an indication now that this, this man is on the busy side, and for that reason, we're going to excuse you from the autograph thing because today there's a special activity in Hollywood that he must go to. It's a, a benefit performance. I only ask one thing. Would you promise to come back and do it again? I'd love to, Dan. Right. Don, thank you very much. You nice very to much. have you here. Don Grady, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Don, very, very much. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> 